Hello and welcome to this video looking at the types of formulae that we can use to represent different organic molecules. There are a few different types of formulae and many of them you'll have come across already. The first type is molecular and this shows the number of each element that is present. So this is the simplest type. Then we have full structural. This shows all of the atoms and all of the bonds that are between them. So you've been drawing these since National 4 or National 5. Shortened structural formula condenses the structure into one line or it only shows carbon to carbon bonds um, or branches. So this just allows you to take out some of the lines that we have to draw in our structure. And the final one, which you may have come across when looking at fats and oils and higher, is a skeletal formulae. So this shows the bonds between carbons as lines only, not showing any of the carbon atoms or any of the H atoms. The only atoms that are shown are the non-carbon and non-hydrogen atoms, such as oxygen and nitrogen. And we only show the hydrogen atoms when they are joined to a non-carbon atom. Let's have a look at an example to show each of these being used. Looking at butane. So butane has a molecular formula of C4H10. So this just tells us what atoms are present and how many there are. It doesn't give us any information about how those atoms are joined together. It just purely tells you what's there. The full structural formula, this shows all of the bonding present in your molecule. So for butane, that is a chain of four carbons with the 10 hydrogens surrounding them. And this is easy enough to draw for a small molecule like butane. However, if you're looking at complex pharmaceutical molecules, this would take a long time to draw. Then we can look at shortened structural formula. So for the shortened structural formula, we're just going to take out all of the bonds that are shown there and just write it as a line. So we'll have CH3 for this first carbon, CH2, CH2, and CH3. So we looked at this in National 5. For the final type of formula that we're looking at, we're looking at skeletal formula. And this is where we take out all of the bonds to carbons and hydrogens and just show them as lines. So for this, we're gonna have, we'll have a carbon at the start of the chain, joined to the second carbon, and we draw them as zigzag lines. Then we're joined to the third one, and then to the fourth. So you, every time that you have a corner, or the end of a chain, you have a carbon with as many hydrogens as you need to make up the four valency. So we've got one, two, three, four here. So this is a much more simplified way of writing out our structures for organic molecules. Here we've got propanol. So propanol has a molecular formula of C3H8O. That doesn't tell you how these atoms are joined together. The full structural formula would show you that you have three carbons joined in a line and on the first carbon you have an OH group because it's an alcohol and then the rest we have hydrogens. For the shortened structural formula we just shorten that down to a chain and for the skeletal we only need to show the bonds here where we have the OH. So we have a carbon at the end of the chain going to the second carbon to the third carbon and then we have an O and this is the only H that we need to show is the one joined onto the oxygen. Looking at a final example here we have ethanoic acid. So ethanoic acid has the molecular formula C2H4O2. Structural formula shows that you have two carbons the end one has C double bond O, OH, and the second one there has three hydrogens attached. To draw this as short and structural formula, we take out all of the bonds. And for the skeletal, the only part we have to show is these parts with the oxygen. They're the only atoms we need to write in. So we have a carbon joined to a carbon. This carbon then has double bond O. To OH and again the only H that we're showing is the one joined to a non-carbon atom. Pause the video now and try drawing skeletal formula for these molecules. So the first molecule we have here is octanthriol. Now one of the ways that you can start with drawing your 
skeletal formula is to actually draw out the full formula first if you're a little confused as to how to do it. So we would have eight carbons and on the third one we would have the OH group. I'm not going to draw in the hydrogens as we won't have those when we have the skeletal one and then you just have to follow this and put it into the zigzag arrangement that we have. So we've got the first carbon joined to the second, then we zigzag down to the third, then the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth. So here you have your eight carbons and on the third one, so if we just draw it this way, we've done one, two, three, we have an O and the H that's attached to it. You can do the same for the 2-methylpentane, so if you draw out the chain of five carbons first, and then on the second one you've got a methyl group, so just a single carbon. So here you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, and then on the second one we just have a branch. And because it's a CH3 branch you don't need to draw anything. And then for the final one we're doing ethyl ethanoate. So for this we'll have two carbons and then an oxygen, then we're joined to a carbon with a double bond O, which itself has two carbons for that chain there. So for here we're going to have a carbon to a carbon, and then that carbon is joined to the oxygen, up to the next carbon with the double bond to the oxygen, and then to the final carbon. Try pausing the video now and giving the molecular formula for each of these molecules. So for each of these molecules, you're trying to give the molecular formula. This first molecule here is 2,4-dimethylbutane, and we're trying to work out how many carbons and hydrogens we have present. So for each end of chain or corner, we have carbons. So here we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we're going to have C6. And then you can draw in some lines for the hydrogens if you wish. So we have 1, 2, 3 here to make up the four bonds. We must have one joined onto this one, one, two, three here, another one here, one, two, three, and one, two, three, and then you could count up the hydrogens that are there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So we'd have C six H fourteen. For this molecule here, we have transbutuene. And again, you could put in the hydrogens to be able to count them. So at the end of the chain here, we'll have three. We'll have one on either side here and then another three there. So we have one, two, three, four carbons. So C4. And then we have a total of eight hydrogens. Doing the same for this aldehyde. We can put in lines to show where the hydrogens would be. So each of your carbons needs to have four bonds. And then just counting up what you have. So you have one, two, three, four, five carbons. So C5, three, five, seven, nine, ten hydrogens and an oxygen. And then finally looking at an ether. So this ether is ethoxypropane. So we'll have three hydrogens attached at the end of this chain, two here, another two here, two and then three. So for the carbons we have one, two, three, four, five, C5, we have three, five, seven, nine, twelve hydrogens and an oxygen. Naming of the molecule here at the top you'll be able to find in the video on stereoisomerism and naming of molecules such as this one at the bottom and ether you'll be able to find in the ethers video. I hope that you find this video on structural representation of organic, organic molecules helpful. Please remember to subscribe or follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Kim for regular updates on new videos. Thank you for watching.